Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Tricks of the Trade with me, Tom Cor from my office. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel below if you like my videos. Check back for new videos every week. I'm also doing online coaching most days at the moment. So today I'm doing something a bit different again. This is with my third person GoPro mount and there hasn't been that much wind recently so it's a bit of a foiling technique tip. Foil boards are amazing for really light wind stuff. And uh, one of the main things to learn when you start foiling is the roll tack. So I went out yesterday, I had my uh, third person cam on and busted a roll tack. It's not the best clip and there's a bit of water on the lens. However, for the purposes of this tutorial, let's get stuck in to the upwind roll tack on a foil board. To come into this, you want to be comfortably riding on your foil. You don't want to be going too fast, you want to be nicely in control and have your body position, your upper body weight and your body position nicely in your control. Upper body weight is really important, you don't want to be leaning forward too much, too crunched as you go into this, you want to kind of open up and really have your body weight vertical over the board. You come in with your kite at the riding angle, and as you think, right, okay, let's go for the roll tack, you slowly rise the kite up towards 12 o'clock, input the kite, and then engage your upper body, and then start to steer the board upwind. As your kite is rising, you then sheet out on the kite, and let it rise up to 12 o'clock, and as you ride upwind with the foil board, What's really important is that you try and get the board to be flat over the water as you scoop it up into the wind. You don't want it leaning too much on your riding direction. Lean, otherwise when you go for the transition the board will be leaning the wrong way. So you want to aim for that board to be dead flat as it is facing directly upwind. This is where you do the little foot shuffle when your kite hits 12 o'clock, your foil board is facing dead upwind with the deck flat and then you use your front foot to really steer and push that board around. It's important to know that you don't need that much pressure or weight on the board and you use your sheeting in to take your weight off as you're at the zenith of the tack. And then you use your front foot to push the nose of the board round past the upwind mark so that the foil glides around into the opposite direction. As you use the front foot to push it round, you bring your back foot up to now being your front foot. You then replace your back foot with what was your front foot. Try and land your back foot directly over the mast of the foil and your feet in the center of the board as, as much as possible. Then drop your kite directly back into the riding position on the other tack and focus on your board control riding out. If you're on a big enough foil, you should be able to just ride out simply and easily in the opposite tack. It might take a little bit of kite steering to get yourself going again. Don't worry about touching down at first, you'll get it in the end. Stomp it and sail off in the other direction. <laughs> 